Are you curious about what's going on with your spouse's WhatsApp that seems to be ringing with messages every now and then? Or are you looking for a way to monitor your child's contacts? You trust them with technology, but not the creeps out there who pretend to be their friend. In any case, you came to the right video. In this video, I will introduce you to mSpy, the best spy app out there to monitor WhatsApp messages no matter where you are. mSpy offers a lot great features such as GPS tracking, GEO fencing, web filtering, and many more. But before we dive into the details, I'd like to let you know that there's a link in the description below if you want to download mSpy and get a discounted package. Now let's begin. MISPY allows its users to be able to track WhatsApp messages of a target device. If you have already signed up for an account, the steps are simple. Just go to your MSP account, go to your dashboard located on the left-hand side of the screen, scroll to social networks, and select WhatsApp. And that's it. Doing those steps will allow you to see every message, calls, and contacts of the target device. MISPY doesn't filter anything out, so you have everything you need to know in that account. But if you're still starting out with MISPY, Here's a step-by-step -step guide to making an account and unlocking other important features MSP has for you. Creating an account is required before you can start monitoring WhatsApp on your target devices. Head to www.msp.com and select a plan that you want. You can purchase a membership on your own device. The target device is not required for this step. It's worth noting that the step-by-step -step process in this video is for Android phones only. With iOS phones, you will need to jailbreak the phone. Jailbreaking can be risky, especially if it's not done by a professional. Lucky for you, MSP's customer service offers jailbreaking into any device with a very small fee. Now going back to the step-by-step -step guide. After entering your email address and selecting a subscription plan, launch the phone app on your target device. Any smartphone will work. On the target device, open the Google Play Store app, then tap the profile icon in the upper right corner of the screen. After that, tap settings and then play protect. This will enable you to disable pre-existing settings like improve harmful app detection and scan apps with Play Protect. After that, go to the settings on your phone, choose Google Play Store, and turn on notifications. Make sure that you stick to these instructions before moving on to the next step. If you don't want the owner of the device to know that you're monitoring their smartphone, you need to follow the aforementioned steps. It's also worth noting that MSPy isn't available in both Google Play Store and Apple App Store because it's a spying device. Go to Google Chrome and paste the mSpy link you were given when you signed up while keeping your target device open. This is a very specific link that makes it easy for you to see what your target device is up to. The website where you can download the mSpy app for the target device is only accessible via the link. You will be updated when the necessary files have been downloaded. By then, you will install the APK. No worries, you'll be able to see the term APK once the file has been downloaded. Once you see it, install. Up next, you will be asked to submit the authentication code that was sent to your email address. Once all the necessary steps have been followed, return to your device, then go to the mSpy control panel to start tracking the target device. Don't worry about your spouse or child noticing this small change on their device. Compared to other spy apps, mSpy is expertly made. It won't appear on the home screen of the target device, won't send notifications, and won't draw attention to itself. The phone user won't notice anything. How can you use MSP's important features now that you've installed it on your target's device? You can modify the settings of the target device in addition to monitoring WhatsApp and other social networks. Go to the MSPI website and scan the left side of the screen for the ID of your target device. The dashboard, which can be found below the ID, shows a graph of activities of your target device. Monitoring what is downloaded onto the device and how much time is spent using it is another useful feature you will be able to track exactly how much time your child is spending on social media, YouTube, and games if you limit their phone use to three hours per day. Even so, you can limit your kids' access to these apps. You can find contacts, text messages, calls, events, photos, videos, Wi-Fi networks, keyword tracking, keylogger, and installed apps under the General Features section. There are also location trackers such as GPS and geofencing. These location trackers come in handy if you want to keep track of a family member's location. You even have the option to be alerted whenever they're crossing outside of a specific area. This is called GEO fencing. It's great for parents who are wary of their children's safety. The general features of MSPI is straightforward. To view them, just click the corresponding buttons for contacts, incoming and outgoing calls, and text messages. You will see 100% of what the user sees. Unlike other apps that only notify you of messages with potentially harmful content, MSPI does not filter anything. A very valuable feature of MSB. 
Now let's talk about the cost. The pricing plan for MISPI is simple and convenient in my opinion. The price of a monthly plan is $1.48.99. The price for a three month plan is $28. Additionally, a 12 month plan can cost as little as $11.67. Can you think of anything less expensive? I would select the 12 month trial if I were using MSPI for the first time. With all the features included, it works out to less than a dollar per month and nothing could possibly go wrong. One of Miss PA's standout features is its broad compatibility with various social media apps that can be monitored. Take WhatsApp, for instance. In contrast to some other applications that only provide access to text messages on the target device, MSPI allows you to choose from a wide array of social networks to access, provided they are installed on the user's device. MISP also grants you the capability to block specific websites you deem inappropriate for your children. This feature proves useful in ensuring your child isn't exposed to harmful content. So is MSPI the best app for monitoring WhatsApp messages? Definitely. In conclusion, owing to MSP's extensive range of features, which includes the ability to track multiple devices and its cost-effective subscription plan, I strongly recommend this application for various purposes, such as parental control, safeguarding your children, and monitoring your partner.